In this video, we're going to introduce ourselves to the idea of adding decimals. And I encourage you, as we work through these problems, to keep pausing the video and seeing if you can think about it on your own before we work through it together. And we're going to build up slowly, and in future videos, we're going to find out faster ways of doing it. But the way we're learning it in this video and the next few is to really make sure we understand what is happening. So let's say we wanted to add 0.1 to 0.8. Or you could say we're adding 1 tenth to 8 tenths. Pause this video and see if you can figure that out. Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it. You could say, hey look, 0.1, that is 1 tenth. And 0.8, that is 8 tenths. And so if I have one of something and I add 8 more of that something, so I have 1 tenth and I'm going to add 8 more tenths, well, I'm going to end up with 9 of that something. In this case, we're talking about tenths. So that is going to be equal to 9 tenths. That's one way to think about it. Another way we could think about it visually. So let's say we take a whole and we were to divide it into tenths, which we have right over here. So if we say this whole square is a whole, we divide it into 10 equal sections. So each of these white bars you can view as a tenth. So we have 1 tenth. So let me. Fill that in. So 1 tenth, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. We have 1 tenth right over there. And to that, we want to add 8 tenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so how many total tenths do I now have? Well, let's just count them up. We have this 1 here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight, nine. These are really saying the same thing. All of this together is going to be, let me do that a little neater, all of this together is going to be 9 tenths. Now in either case, how do we write 9 tenths in decimal form? Well, we go to the tenths place, which is one space on the right side of the decimal, and we say, hey, we have 9 tenths. This is the tenths space right over here. So that's just saying we have 9 tenths. We have 9 we have nine of these tenths right over here. So let's keep building. Let's try to do, let's do another example. So let's say that we, let me clear all of this out. So let's say that we want to add, do these with different colors. So let's say we want to add, I have trouble, it's my pen isn't working. Let's see. Let's say we want to add, my pen is, oh here we go. Let's say we want to add 3 tenths, and to that we want to add 9 tenths. What is that going to be? Well, you could do, use the same idea. If you say this is 3 tenths, and this is 9 tenths, plus 9 tenths. If I have three of something and if I add nine of them, well, that's going to be 12. Three plus nine is 12. So we could say this is going to be equal to 12 tenths. Now, this one might be a little bit counterintuitive. 12 tenths, what does that mean? Well, one way to think about it, this is 10 tenths, 10 tenths plus two tenths. And what are 10 tenths? Well, if I have 10 tenths, this right over here is one whole. So that is going to be one. So we have one and two tenths. So how do we write one and two tenths? Well, we could write it as, in the ones place, we just write a one. And then in the tenths place, we write our two tenths. So it's, you could say it's equal to 1.2, or you could say it's equal to one and two tenths, which is the same thing as 12 tenths. Now if we want to see that visually, let's get our diagram out again. So actually I'm going to make, put two of these here. So one and then a second one. And we want to add, so let's start with the three tenths. So let me color these in really fast. So use that light blue color. So that is one tenth. This is two tenths. Just coloring them in really fast. And this is 3 tenths. And then to that, we're going to add 9 tenths. 
So to that, we're going to add one, two, three. I'm not coloring them in fully. Four, but you get the idea. Five, almost there. Six, I need to color faster. Seven, seven, eight, nine. So there you have it. I have added nine tenths. You notice I've colored in nine, I've colored in yellow nine of the tenths, and before I had three of the tenths colored in. And when you add them all together, what happens? Well, the three tenths plus the seven tenths right over here, they made a whole. So this right over here is our one. And then we also have another two tenths left over. And so this is where, this is our 0 0.2 or two tenths. So it's going to be one plus two tenths, which is 1.2. So hopefully this gives you a good sense of how we think about adding decimals. And even though in the future we're going to figure out faster ways of doing it or miss more systematic ways of doing it, this is still the way that, that I still do it in my head. If someone walks up to me on the street and says, hey, add 0.3 to 0.9. That's how I think about it.